Ranisa Sword School. Someone usually comes to pick it up, but they haven't shown up this month. I'm going to lose my shirt here. If they don't pick up their order, I don't get paid. Have you seen the High Elves that were here by any chance? I was supposed to keep an eye on them. I only turned away for a moment and now they're gone! Oh, Horror's going to be very angry with me. Wait, they were telling the truth? I guess it makes sense. They did all look and talk the same. I must inform the Stargazers of this development. The tides may finally be turning in our favor. Be quick and stay quiet. It's the only certain way. Friend of the Stargazers, look at this place. Here, the Majors of Craglorn fended off the Prince of Schemes and his dark anchors. But the sweet taste of victory quickly turned bitter. The Majors called on the power of the Celestial Mage they summoned ancient and powerful Atronox to defeat the Dark Anchors and battle Molag Pal. But as soon as the Dark Anchors were defeated, the Atronox turned against Craglorn. That's what I need you to learn. A conjurer named Kelman Locke was present when the Atronox were first summoned. When they turned, his fellow summoners were killed. He was the only one to escape, and I fear he is in grave danger. Hurry. If Kelman is lost to the Serpent, so too are our chances to understand why the Atronox turned. Oh! 
away, Phantom. Unless you are here to free me, I will have none of you. I'm no Phantom, Kelman Lock. I am the Celestial Thief, and you know why I am here. Just another bandit, then? I've already been robbed blind. There's nothing more to take from me. The Atronox. The Celestial Mage showed you how to summon them in a dream. Do you remember? Why have they turned against Kraglorn? Oh, no. No more Celestial Mages and Serpents. I've had enough of all that. I saw what happened to the others, and that won't happen to me. Who are you? Are you in league with this thief? I demand that you free me immediately. The Atronox? I don't care to think about those creatures. One moment we were summoning them and destroying the Dark Anchors, and the next they turned on us like ungrateful dogs. It was terrible. A giant spectral serpent appeared at the summoning site. We sent the Atronox against it, but they refused to obey us. They killed the others. Coward that I am, I fled. But then I was captured by these common rogues. I don't know, but I think I know how to find out. We need to talk to the Atronox directly and ask them what happened. The first Atronox we summoned were ancient. They could communicate to some extent. They didn't speak, but we heard them in our minds. They commanded the others and we controlled them. With a gem we saw in a dream. The Gem of Celestial Command. Well, as it happens, that's the one thing the bandits didn't get their hands on. I was able to keep it hidden. Don't ask. Take it. Find the storm, fire, and frost monarchs, and use the gem to bind them. You'll probably have to fight them first. Go to the summoning site, and use the gem to call on the monarchs. I'll meet you there. They might be more favorable to me. Or maybe not. But now I've helped you. Will you release me?